Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Comfort and Joy with Lady Curry. I hope that my video finds you well, safe, happy, strong, blessed, and just flourishing through life. So, okay, guys, I'm trying to catch you up with what's been happening in the life of me. <laughs> so, this is a quick vlog of um, the past two weekends that we've been doing this volleyball life this is our volleyball era and we have been traveling um to some tournaments and just having fun the little lady is enjoying this sport so we are behind her 100 percent, just supporting her so we've been hitting the road for the past few weekends and um i just want to kind of give you a glimpse in to what was happening now i will tell you guys i will give you guys a warning i did not do the most fabulous job of um capturing everything but the things that delighted me for the most part i'll say um i tried to pull my camera out but i also again um i think i've mentioned this previously i try to live in a moment so i'm breaking myself out of always pulling out my camera and just absorbing real time life experience so that's what i've been doing and then like look at this road trip like just the the drive alone um was just breathtaking it was relaxing and i hope you even get some enjoyment and some relaxation out of this just driving through the countryside is just a nice experience that you can unplug and kind of take a breath and a beat from the hustle and the bustle of what life can bring us so th this even was just like a nice breath of fresh air the hubby um was driving and i had to drive because he had to hop out um leave and then come back or whatever so we were um caravanning uh through the countryside and it was you know just a nice experience both weekends and then the following weekend aunt tammy came up and we were cheering our baby on as well so um well actually she came did she come up for both yeah she came up for both she came up for both so um this weekend aunt tammy was up and then the following weekend it was just us girls so that's what it was child my minds y'all got to pray for me but anyway so i'm um hoping that you guys enjoy this video um, I'm, I'm just doing the mom thing right now. I don't have a glamorous life. I'm not shopping and going to various events and things of that nature. Although some things are coming up. So I'm going to also try to bring you along for that. I have some fun, you know, grown folk business that's coming up. Some fun stuff. So I will make sure I try to vlog those experiences as well. But right now I'm just enjoying being the mom and just having a mundane predictable life and i'm i'm grateful for it so yeah this was just a great weekend um as we were traveling and um just enjoying ourselves watching the little lady just flourish and prosper and just you know have fun and enjoyment in one of the sports that she chose out and that she wants to stick with so we're all for it we're all behind her Another thing I was very grateful for was that the two weekends did allow us to really just relax and kind of forcefully relax because we just focused on her and it was a lot of hurry up, sit down and wait type of things. But we got up early, um, you know, to get her to her, her report destinations, but it still was somewhat relaxing nevertheless. So we made it to our destination and the family is relaxing on the couch. As you can see there, I promised them that I wouldn't show their and faces. And we just settled, well, not really settled into the room, but we are settling into the room. And I just cleaned around the um, every area, every touchable area that I could think of. Hey, hey, my hair and everything is just a mess, so I'm not going to 
even show myself. But um, yeah, so we are here and I will try to take you along and show you guys as much as possible for tournament weekend. And I'm still learning some things, you know, all things volleyball. So I will um, let you know as I learn and as we go along, we'll um, get settled in and see what exciting things are gonna happen this weekend. But yeah, so okay guys. <laughs>
Sutaki, I believe I'm pronouncing it the correct way. And this mushroom broth was so tasty. It really was good. And we really enjoyed it. I think I should have just held back because um, this place gave you so much food. We didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. And um, any of us, none of us rather, none of us knew what we were getting into with all of the items that we you know, were ordering. We didn't realize it came with so much food. But everything was delicious. Unfortunately, we couldn't eat it all. We tried to take it with us, but we did not have a uh, microwave, so we didn't even get a chance to really enjoy the leftovers. But it was a delight. It was like a little experience. I haven't been to a hibachi type of restaurant in ages i want to say like 15 years or so or even more or even longer so it was just fun so okay take take a look So as you can see that there was so much food, it was a lot of food and it was divided among the party that sat at the grill and it still was too much food. <laughs> but we had a great time, it was good company. The guests that we did not know who were seated with us were friendly and um, we just had good conversation and everybody was just enjoying the experience and enjoying the food. and. Our chef, he was funny. He was hilarious trying to make his little jokes and things. He was just funny. And he did what he had to do. And then he moved out the way and just let us enjoy our meal. And we just had a good time. And I really enjoyed that. My sister in love came up both weekends to support her um, niece. And we just had a good time. It's always a good time when we connect. I tell you, there's nothing like having a sister or just a sisterhood where you both are growing and aspiring to get better and to let truth ring and be the order of the day and just want you know God's peace and just true joy so it really was a good weekend um, with her and the little lady so since the little lady likes the hibachi experience I'm going to really try my hand at uh, making more Asian inspired meals because she really enjoyed the meals. I do grilled chicken very well. I don't really um, do fried rice. That's not in my repertoire. 
but it's very simple and I think I'm going to try my hand at um, some wok dishes so yeah I'm going to do that and hopefully maybe it will be a trial error and I'll film myself <laughs> that'll be fun so let me know in the comments if you guys like either like the hibachi experience or love eating Chinese, Japanese, Thai, um, Asian influenced dishes. Let me know. Drop your favorite dish and drop the dish that you make really well. And I might have to get some tips and pointers from you. But yeah, so this would be new for me. I don't think that I have one dish really that I make on my own that is Asian inspired. Hmm, go figure. So an ongoing joke among my small friend group is that I am the only one I believe that has a um, what do you call it like elementary or junior high middle school junior high student or child everybody else all of my other girlfriends are either um, high school moms or college moms and some are adult moms and grandmoms and so I'm the one, I'm the last one that has a um, school age child, a middle schooler. And it's just so, you know, it's, it's a chuckle. And um, they are saying how, you know, the days are fleeting and how they miss just um, going out supporting at soccer and football and basketball and all the sports and things and to really just enjoy this time away that I have with the little lady and yes I will say for me I have been enjoying motherhood it has truly been a blessing from day one and um, I am just so grateful to God she was a miracle baby and I know that God had promised me a child and that's why I tell people who um, I either speak with um, I either counsel or give some encouragement to do not forsake the promise that God gave you. If he gave you a promise, hold on tight to that promise until it manifests in reality, until God brings it to this realm. Trust him. Remind yourself of his promises. Live and prepare yourself for the promise. But God's word is true. His promise is true. And he is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. That's his word. So for those of you who are trusting in a promise to come to pass, trust the Lord with all your heart and do not give up. But yes, this little lady and this motherhood journey has truly been such a blessing and she is teaching me just as much as I am teaching her. <laughs> and I'm loving it. Like she is such a bright human being. I really, truly am just so blessed to be a mother to her. So we arrived at the facility a little bit after seven and the girls went ahead and they grouped up, sat down, ate some breakfast. Then they, you know, just, it was a heavy up and wait type of thing. So they set, it was a game before them. So they were, you know, letting their food digest, getting their instruction from the coach when she arrived. And then they started to do like their warm-ups to get ready for their games their stretching and things of that nature and um, then they had their first sets of games and I believe they, they did win one lost a few then won one or two and the other they did place bronze but honestly at that point like a lot of them were burnt out tired we were there from 7 a.m. a little earlier some of the girls were there earlier 7 a.m to um, around, I think, 6.30, almost 7 o'clock at night. So they were really tired, um, and my daughter was over the day. She really was. Um, and she even went as far as to tell the coach that she didn't want to play, and I have a concern about <laughs> that as well, but that's a story for another day. But it just was a taxing day. Um, and um, they did, I, I guess, I don't want to say they did their best, but they they tried. They tried. They put forth good effort. But, I mean, you know, all day. Um, and, they, you know, they played, worked, 
and then have off, what they call off is like just sitting out of the game and they don't have to keep score or ref or anything like that. But um, yeah, so it was interesting. They still pressed through regardless, but it was a learning experience. Sometimes when you're part of a team, you have to show up and be there for your team. You cannot um, take it as it's all about me. I don't feel like it, therefore I'm not going to um, perform or show up for my team. It's a, we all got to push through because people are depending on me. It's not a solo thing. It's not an independent thing. So, um, yeah, that's what I, I tried to teach her from this lesson. Sometimes you got to push through. If you didn't have an injury, if you didn't have a life-threatening concern, you have to be there and show up for your team because they are counting on you to do your part of the job as well. So it was a learning lesson. And look, this is life. We all have to show up um, to various places and, and uh, situations. And we don't necessarily um, are in the right headspace sometimes. We have to get ourselves in that headspace and prep ourselves and discipline ourselves to show up even when we don't feel like it. So that's a life discipline that we have to carry throughout life. No one escapes that. No one escapes that feeling of just being able to bow out. I mean, some situations you may have to fall back, but in times like this, I try to teach my um, daughter that you're here. You know, you 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 said you were going to be here. We made the effort. We put the finances in for you to be here. You have to show up and get it done. And this is the mindset of a lot of winners, a lot of people who endure, a lot of people who persevere. So, um, and I honestly did not always have that mindset. And sometimes I still don't. Um, but it just depends on the situation. You can apply it to life but some situations you may be able to like say no now is a time of rest and you have to be able to um differentiate the two but this okay was not the time all right so i was tough mom then <laughs> and so yeah so this uh this game away was a lesson
some laundry. We just came back from our second weekend in a row. Hold on. I had to mute that. But we just came back from our second weekend in a row being away for a tournament. And I have been trying to get my house together. So I didn't even bother to bring my luggage up, which normally I do not do. I will roll my luggage from the car right into my laundry room to launder the um, items that we wore for the weekend. So yeah, so as I get my home back together in tip top shape, I hope that you enjoyed this short video, but I tried to live in the moment as much as I could. So I didn't pull out my camera as much, which I hate because when I re realized that I wasn't filming, I'm like, oh crap, I didn't film. But you guys hopefully got the gist of the weekend. We had a good time both weekends um, with daddy and then with Aunt Tammy. So um, I will try to do a better job uh, when we go away for the next tournament. Yeah. All right, guys. As always, this is Lady Curry wishing you comfort and joy from my heart to yours. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now. It's time for me to get this laundry room and this laundry to them. Take care, guys. Be blessed.